Hello and welcome. In this video and the next few, I'm going to examine some string functions. Specifically, I'm going to examine some Boolean string functions. They are called Boolean because they return a Boolean value, either true or false, one or zero. And these are going to be string functions. Oftentimes, these could be the uh, answers to a simple problem. I am going to create a variable and I'm going to call it test and its type is going to be string because we're going to be examining some string functions and I am going to assign this string a value and I'm just going to say bear right a string implies some kind of text value so why not a, a word like bear uh, the other thing I'm going to do and this is where it gets goofy but it's better for a demonstration so I'm going to create another variable and it's going to be my result and I'm going to call it res which isn't a great name um, and its type is boolean, so it's either true or false, zero or one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you ends with and starts with. These are two functions that are available to you if you're using strings. So I'm going to assign the value res to the result of one of these functions that I've been talking about. So uh, remember, I've got a variable called test of type string, and if I say dot ends with. I need to pass it a string value because that's how this function works. So if I say ends with r, for example, so this is saying, hey, does whatever's in the variable test, which is bare, does it end with an r? I'm saying it does, so what this function's going to do is it's going to return true. And now I'm setting my variable res to the value of true. Pretty uh, circular example so far, but it's it's going to show it's going to be okay when I demonstrate. And what I want to do is I want to create a message box, and in that message box, I'm going to show the results. I need to convert to a string because while boolean kind of sounds like a string, it's either true or false. It's a word. Um, I still do need to do the C string. So if I run this, I think you'll see my results here. I get true, right? Because bear does end with an R. But if I do two R's, for example, does bear end with two R's? I think we know the answer to that. It's false. So notice that it always returns a true or a false. So there's other ways you could solve these kind of problems if you're ever asked to look at some data and determine what does it start with, what does it end with. And you could solve this problem with a substring, but there are occasions where this is the easier way to do things. So I did ends with. Let's do starts with. Um, helps if you spell it right. So does bear start with our R? Let's see if it does. Of course it doesn't. What about BE, right? Does bear start with BE? And I do feel ridiculous testing this out over and over again if that makes anyone feel better at home. Of course it does. The only interesting case here is how about that, right? Does bear start with capital BE? Well, this is the first interesting example we've done, so I'll go a little slower. It certainly does not, which may surprise you. And the reason it doesn't is that when we compare strings, we say starts with, ends with, we're actually comparing their ASCII values. And if you're familiar with ASCII values, uh, you'll know that lowercase letters and uppercase letters have different values. So that's why that happens. I am going to be making some more videos on string functions because they're pretty useful. Uh, so I'll see you soon.